Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a little video on some of the blankets that I'm currently working on and that I have recently completed. I have done, let's see, I think six full afghans since, I don't know, about September and um, Two of them I can't show you because they've already been given and are in different places in the country. And, uh, but two of them, well, one you saw was on my bed. Um, and then three I have right here with me. Two of them I had given to my next door neighbor for Christmas, one for wife and one for the husband. But uh, they're gone today and I said, can I please have them back? I'm gonna make a video about them. So they very graciously uh, lent them back to me. So, but before I get to those, I'm going to talk about, um, well, I wanted to mention on that Christmas blanket, it was 78 rows wide by 98 rows uh, tall. And that was uh, just the corner to corner part. But I got to the last row and I thought, well, it should be a mirror opposite of what the first row was. And it wasn't, it was like one block off. So there were only 77 blocks instead of 78. And I thought, oh no, I have just messed up somewhere. Thankfully, I had only messed up on that day's work and I'd actually skipped a block, but I had to frog about 30 rows, which wasn't pleasant, but I did it because I had to have the blanket perfect or I wasn't going to put the border on it. So anyways, that's that. The second thing is uh, Jada and Stitches came out with her, the second assignment on the calendar blanket and I've already finished it. Uh, she came out with it on Friday. So I have, I have it finished. Um, let's see, yeah, well, you can kind of, eh, it's big. Anyways, the first one is finished. I was working on two, and I had this one, it was about halfway done. Well, it was halfway done, and then I was starting into the light green, and I said, I better do a row count, or a stitch count. And wouldn't you know, I was off by two. I had two too many. And I ended up frogging about 20 rows to fix it. But now it's fixed. Um, and I'm just rebuilding the dark green part. So now I have this little yellow stitch marker. Not to mark my stitches, but to mark the fact that that row has a perfect stitch count. And so I just move this up every row. Because um, I check now every row. I didn't check every row on this one. I'm not going to. Um, anyways, okay, so that's that. Okay, I have a little list here of the things I wanted to talk about. Okay, I said in a previous video that I would show the black and white blanket that I have made for a friend. And I actually had lunch with her today. Uh, a group of us gals got together. And she just casually mentioned that she loved that Christmas blanket I made and she would love to have an Afghan butt in beige and cream. Now this is a gal who likes black and white. Everything she has a black and white. I made her black and white Afghan. She's getting a black and white Afghan. She's not getting a beige and cream one. So um, this is just basic. It's a corner to corner. And it looks like this and just has a real simple border on it. Nothing much, but, um, and it's not for a queen size bed. It's just more of a, just a personal Afghan. So that's, that's that one. Um, okay. So this one I made for the wife next door. And let's see, what are my notes on it? I don't want to forget anything. Okay. This, you can kind of see, um, it's made, the main, this main green is the Red Heart Super Saver 
ombre in spearmint and I think it took about five skeins to make this um, not including the other colors that are in it or the border and the uh, and like every tenth row there's a row of puff stitches um, in various yarns and then around the border I had always wanted to do the flower box stitch or, or pattern I don't know it's not really a stitch it's just a pattern and so I don't know if you can kind of see there's I did some in the red and then two of the sides are in yellow so this is a real uh, gardeny blanket and then for the husband he's a swimmer and he regularly swims in these um, excuse me if I pull it out he swims from the Venice Beach Pier to the Santa Monica Pier and they have these big like marathon swims I think it's a two mile ocean swim and he does that every August I think it is anyway so I made him an ocean blanket and I think it, you've probably seen those uh, those those beach blankets or beach themed afghans so this one of course is corner to corner and so you have the sand up here and there's um, a shell here and I have a turtle here so he's very 3d and then the ocean waves oh, it's very big okay and then down at the bottom there's coral and uh, little, there's some little fishes and stuff now when I did the coral oh and there's a little that's the bottom of it okay when I did the coral I actually drew it out just like let's see can you see that this is the actual design for the coral so you know if you want to make curl on a blanket or something like that just draw it out and just crush it and that I you know you just make it up as you go anyhow so those are my afghans and I want to also show you um, if you live in California I don't know if this store is in other states I know it's in a few states but we have a grocer called smart and final and smart and final has these wonderful grocery bags and they are great for holding afghans or uh, whatever yarn project you're working on that's what I keep my stuff in absolutely great they even had some holiday themed ones at Christmas and so I was able to put these two afghans that I made for my next door neighbors in the holiday themed smart and final bags because uh, a regular like paper bag just would have split because the afghans were just bulky and, and heavy let's see anything else um, no I think that's about it so I'll talk to you later and thanks for listening to my little thing about afghans I have some amigurumi um, videos coming up soon, including one on Sherlock. So talk to you later. Bye-bye.